यू नो किस्मत का खेल बोलते हैं तो इट वॉज लाइक द फर्स्ट कंपनी आई वेंट इन टू वॉज दिस ओगमा दैट इज द डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कंपनी and i just asked uh, the founder of that company that yes uh, is there any uh, are you taking any interns and he was like no we are not currently accepting any intern applications so why are you here and i was like uh, i just want to know about what marketing is i am just too curious to know you know know about marketing what is digital digital marketing all these fancy words you know <laughs> Hello folks welcome to the series named the placement guide where we help students to know about the hiring processes of their dream companies and also about different career opportunities today we have a very special guest among us whose name is prakhar he has done a couple of marketing internships at ogma creo motors design front row and many others he has also enabled his team to won the gold medal at inter iit tech meet competition 2021 and he is currently studying in iit patna and in fourth year thank you so much prakhar for accepting our invitation and coming up to the show thank you madhur uh, the pleasure is all mine and this is a really nice initiative that is taken by you and uh, i am really glad that i got this opportunity to talk to you and uh, you know make people aware about all these placement things and the career opportunities so before we start do like and share this video also don't forget to subscribe the channel for more such videos let's deep dive into your journey prakhar how did you develop interest in towards marketing coming from a engineering background okay uh, so just like any other student in india i was you know born and brought up in a family where everyone was an engineer and they wanted me to be an engineer too so although i was a bit interested in you know brainstorming things coming up with strategies but at the time the word iit was too famous so i just got into this rat race of going into the iit giving je advance and this is the way i landed up in iit patna uh, so once i got into iit patna i started exploring things it was like after 2 to 4 years of you know the struggle and this rat race of go studying for engineering examination i just wanted to know what kind of talents i hold so this iit patna fraternity helped me you know provided me with opportunities so i got all the i got into the fest committees such as marketing and sponsorship committee the media and public relations committee all the cultural fest uh, cultural committees and stuff and started exploring it firstly just like any other student i ex- started exploring coding then got into machine learning but you know i somewhere found that this is not something that i am in really interested in or you know would survive 40 years down the lane and as soon as i got into marketing uh, and sponsorship committee i i and went on a few pitches i was like yeah this is something you know that i like uh, talking to people uh, asking them and uh, you know interacting with them brainstorming with them coming up with strategies you know to collaborate with people and you know somewhere a bit manipulative as well <laughs> so yeah that is how i got into marketing and then i you know just got to know that marketing is something that comes naturally to me so in that way i just explored and then here i am yeah that's really an amazing journey it really takes a lot of courage to go to a different path that that one is already a part of like exactly belonging to a engineering college where everyone is just uh, doing coding and uh, then taking a different path towards the marketing side it's really a very courageous very uh, dedicated decision yeah you know because the peer pressure and uh, uh, seeing people that uh, that are around you you know hustling for coding and get, getting you know high paid jobs and you still following trying to follow your passion and that too that you are unaware of whether it will help you land up a great job or not you know it was a bit hard but yeah i know i knew it that if i am good at something you know i'll figure it out and be successful in life yeah there is a lot of fomo present uh, related exactly. to coding and everybody is just uh, being part of that so how did you got your first digital marketing internship at ogma 
okay so that is quite an you know exciting story so just after uh, all the fest were over and uh, i you know went home for this winter vacations i was like what should i do everyone was going for you know parties some trips and stuff and i was like i want to explore something i talked to people around me and then came to know that there are a few companies in bhopal as well and firstly i was in this uh, mindset of getting the first internship in a high you know high class company like deloitte or somewhere but the truth is and the reality is you have to start slow that is the thing you won't get a good internship just at the beginning you know being in an engineering college and starting uh, off as a market year uh, i had to you know had get this reality check so i just went around collecting the names of all this marketing companies in bhopal and then in my hometown and then i went door to door and i pitched the founders and the uh, you know kismat ka khel bolte hain so it was like the first company i went into was this ogma that is a digital marketing company and i just asked uh, the founder of that company that yes uh, is there any uh, are you taking any interns and he was like no we are not currently accepting any intern applications so why are you here and i was like uh, i just want to know about what marketing is i am just too curious to know you know know about marketing what is digital digital marketing all these fancy words you know uh, just uh, i i'm too curious to know about it and he was like okay so tell me about yourself about your experiences so i told him about my uh, experiences in these committees and my pitches and how eager i am to you know dive deep into this marketing field and so he was like no i'm so sorry hum to abhi lenge any interns so i just told him just give me one or two weeks i'll just sit beside you see how you work uh, what kind of work do you do and what marketing actually is so he told okay uh, come uh, you know after two days and sit with me and just observe what i do and this is how i went there started you know sitting with him brainstorming with him then thoda observe karne ke baad i was starting in pitching in ideas so he was you know a bit impressed and he was like aaja tu intern pe aaja main nahi janta and this is how i landed my first internship for two months in the some uh, winter break yeah that's an amazing experience like a lot of students do not get good internship in their beginning because they just wanted to get into the top companies without realizing exactly. that one needs to take a small simple small steps so that exactly after few internships one will definitely get into the top companies exactly exactly you have to begin with baby steps right you know you can't just uh, skip steps and go to a uh, and achieve success you have to start slow and uh, eventually you'll grow bigger and really you took a lot of courage to go to door to door to companies and like literally asking them to give you the chance like most of the exactly. students just uh, wanted to sit in their homes and wishing that the companies will contact them and give the, them the the dream internship but that's simply does not happen that way exactly you have to you know step out of your comfort zone and you have to struggle without struggling you can't achieve anything it's like comfort zone mein jab tak rahoge tab tak possible nahi hai and thoda sa besharam bhi hona padta hai all this you have to <laughs> you know be a bit extrovert and just start yeah. talking to people because in marketing that is what you do you talk to people so how did you get your next internship from ogma to creo motors design okay so uh, actually i was you know just going through all the linkedin posts about uh, marketing i was reading articles and uh, you know i just came around some of the this internships and my friend uh, one of my friends sajal he told me that yeah this is a good company and you should you know apply for it and i was like yeah let's try give it a try because that was a small company at that time and uh, and i had they got this opportunity to you know work directly under the founder so i thought yeah starting you know working with a startup would really help me expand my horizon so i applied for uh, there and got in So, what was your greatest learning from doing so many marketing intensives till now? Okay, so the greatest in uh, learning that I got is that you must know how to you know make people know your worth because what uh, marketing requires is talking. Okay, and the way you talk to people, the way you you know speak to them, 
make them aware aware of your worth your skills and skill sets that is important so this is something that what i have learned from these marketing internships whenever you are talking to people it's like just make them aware of what you actually are what you are capable of since you have uh, given so many marketing interviews so can you tell what are the general questions asked in different marketing interviews so that uh, every beginners can uh, perform well in their interviews and can potentially get their dream jobs and, and internships mm-hmm. yeah sure uh, madhu that is really a nice thing because uh, marketing internship ex- uh, interviews are a bit different uh, you know they won't actually go for technical things firstly they would begin with uh, your introduction and by your introduction they actually want to see how creative you are because creativity is something that is re- that is really important in marketing forte so you know if you begin just like saying yeah my name is prakash shinge i am from so and so college and uh, i am re- i have this skill set and i'm really interested in it that would you know make you a part of that you know herd of sheep you know you will not stand out what they actually want to see is how you present yourself the first line that you say that comes off your out of your mouth you know must be like the person the interviewer must think yeah this is the one you like uh, this is what i got to know by uh, the interview that i gave for creo motors i he i just asked him i'm at the founder why did you select me and he was like i was getting all these uh, uh, candidates and they were starting with their name their uh, alma mater and what their skill set is and when i got uh, when you you know came up and you started up with about your life and about this city of yours and you know that was that that is something that uh, made you stand out so this is something that the interviewer looks for you know so firstly you must introduce yourself in such a way that the person is really impressed not exactly because he has your resume and he knows what exactly your skills are and that is why he has shortlisted you right so yeah if you are just saying the skills that you are good at and what exactly you have mentioned in the resume that is of no use because he has already read that okay so the, the first thing is that you must tell them what is not mentioned in the resume about your personality about your interest about your life okay about your skills and how you got into uh, this uh, how you, you develop interest into this uh, marketing or any photo that you are applying for and secondly then they ask you the in marketing they give you with some kind of scenario based questions wherein they'll provide you with the so and so company name and what it does and uh, you know they'll ask you with uh, ask you to come up with strategies digital uh, for digital marketing that is online marketing and offline marketing so for example they'll say that uh, this is a company that usually uh, this first try company suppose they are uh, giving you a situation about first try uh, dot com and they're like uh, just tell me about the target audience how would you approach and uh, suppose you are uh seeing a uh, fall in daily active users so how would you ensure that the daily active users are increased so that is totally for the online marketing stuff so then they uh, want you to answer about uh, they want to see your approach about the technicalities that you know the first one is that uh, do you know what daily active users are secondly do you know about what are the marketing channels online that you can actually uh, choose to in order to you know expand the, your company the third one is uh, like what kind of strategies you come up with so same in the similar manner you just have to you know come up with strategies and tell them and yeah they, uh, these are some of the questions basically they ask you they give you scenarios and they ask you to come up with proper strategies and also they want uh, they sometimes ask you about the tools that analytic tool that you have you know worked with and that is kind of an extra thing and if you have the experience it's good such as metabase clever tap so these are uh, and google analytics so these are some of the uh, analytic tools that a marketer must know so if you have these on your hands that is a plus point yeah this would be really amazing for all the beginners to know so how was your interaction with the founder of two words design for startup okay so this is a really good thing because uh, the creo motors company that i worked w- uh, with uh, rebranded itself into two words and the founder you know saw potential in me and wanted me to uh, work with him again so he provided me provided with uh, me with this opportunity to you know come offsite to goa and uh, the for this fully funded trip 
just That's to amazing. you know <laughs> exactly just to know or get uh, he wanted me to get to know him better and wanted me to you know understand what marketing actually is so i had stayed with him in a house and you know i kind of critically analyzed what exactly is his daily routine because being a founder and being a marketer that those are two different things because the life of a founder is totally different you know we wake up we brush our teeth take breakfast and then start reading something and he was like he woke up he started reading articles and then brush his teeth so that was totally different i was like this is what time management is and then and each and everything like whenever we went out after our uh, the work was done he was like do do you know this shop and i was like no i've never heard of it and then he used to tell me about what kind of marketing strategy and about the background of this uh, store or this outlet and this is like you know in the uh, this daily routine of his he just told me about all these marketing strategies and startups so that was kind of a great thing I actually learned a lot from that yeah that's a really an amazing experience like an experience of a lifetime exactly so what was your greatest learning from your product internship at uh, front row okay so at front row you know the greatest learning that i got was to learn about the analytical tools how actually you know you analyze uh, and uh, come up with strategies to maintain or uh, maintain or retain users so uh, my internship there was totally focused on retention rather than you know onboarding new people so i was assigned this uh, com- com- community of front row that is the music and uh, you know, writing community so i had to make sure and ensure that the, the retention rate was high more than around 60% so for that i had uh, these analytical tools such as google analytics clever tap metabase uh, up my sleeves and uh, they to- taught me how to use it how to you know analyze the graph the data and uh, you know Uh, come up with strategies so what i used to do there was i used to come up with strategies pitch it to the brand manager uh, or the product manager then we uh, did some dry runs tests and then you know we deployed it and after deploying it for one or two weeks we just analyzed the uh, change in the stats and then we decided whether to uh, go with this strategy or not so these are the things that i learned from front row so can you share your experience at inter iit tech meet 2021 in that marketing event yeah uh, that was actually a really great experience for me because uh, it was i guess the first time that inter iit was holding this marketing related uh, event and uh, i was actually unaware of it and some of my juniors you know approached me that you have a pretty good experience in marketing so it would be really kind if you could you know guide us and uh, lead the team so the i already had this team they have already formed this team of five people and um, i really i'm glad that i got to you know work with those students of mine because they were really enthusiastic and i you know felt that the culture is actually growing people are interested in marketing and we came up with uh, it was basically kind of a metaverse uh, marketing strategy so we had to provide them with the strategy that we uh, we could deploy in the market for long term and short term goals and how we can you know collaborate with other companies as well so uh, we took into account the long term and short term strategies and all these facilities that act, uh, the product provides and you know compiled it together and then provided with this presentation the juniors worked their asses off in this presentation and they were really good at it you know just hats off to all those uh, juniors that i have they are really great at it and eventually when we presented it it was like a free one with a huge margin and that was really great the team really worked hard yeah congratulations to the to you and the team for getting a gold medal in such a prestigious forum beating all the iits even the top iits like iit bombay kharagpur madras kanpur and all others and getting literally uh, the gold medal and the first position in this event so yeah. can you share some resources related to marketing like how a beginner can develop his or her skills okay yeah so what i actually tell people is that you know you must know what is your learning method people you know they 
some of them learn by reading some of them learn by listening some of them watch movies or tv shows you know to in order to learn stuff and the last thing that they do is get learning experience through practical exposure personally i prefer the pra- practical exposure one because you know uh, it gives me a kind of a reality check about the industry and that's why you know after doing all these internships i got a proper idea about the uh, current industry scenario and uh, got the, uh, to learn a lot so firstly the first and foremost thing that you have to do is understand what is best for you if you are good at uh, learning by reading go for it if you are good at learning by listening let's go and listen some podcasts we have really uh, good podcasts from think school and stuff if you are good at uh, you know viewing things or uh, seeing things then you can just go and watch some marketing strategies since nowadays we have a lot of resources on youtube and google just go and read some articles we have this uh, youtube channel named think school that i actually uh, preach a lot and um, tell people to just go for it and also uh, you can watch these uh, interviews of people such as uh, the founder of bajaj um, and other stuff uday kotak just and uh, the founder of zero da just watch their podcast and how they uh, and their interviews are about how they uh, come up with marketing strategies how they brainstorm with people so this really gives you a really nice idea about how to do and i have some you know i also prefer uh, watching movies so if you want to yeah. if you're good uh, because learning experience is kind of a bit boring and if you make it fun then it's really good so if you are if you want to learn more about marketing you have you can go and watch movies like we work that is actually about the real story about the company we work go and watch thank you for smoking that that is actually a really great movie about marketing about how a person you know sells something that actually had a bad image in mind and margin call so all these three movies are really good so if you want to go for it and if you want to go, go read some books you can read the book by philip kotler that is a really great book and you know philip kotler's marketing strategies are really good you know although he is a bit old now but you can go and read the books yeah that's an amazing list of resources mm-hmm. i guess that most of the people will start watching movies from today onwards <laughs> related to marketing and literally i have watched every single video of think school since the channel was started and it's exactly. the one of the best learning experience for me and i would also like to add one more person gary way he is the way, most yes. famous person related to marketing. marketing so one should definitely check his channel his videos like he is the has one best person in marketing in today's world exactly so any last message that you would like to give to all our viewers who wanted to enter into the marketing field and make their career yeah so basically what i w- wish to tell them is it's going to be a tough fight people if you are trying something out of your comfort zone uh, start, you know stepping out of your comfort zone and, and trying to pursue something that is not usually encouraged that much and that is not amongst famous amongst your peer group you'll be criticized a lot people will doubt you a lot you'll have to maintain that zeal and dedication and the determination in you because it's going to be a tough fight the road is really long and you must not lose hope because it's a, it is actually a roller coaster sometimes you will feel that you are at the top the next moment you will feel like no it's not working out i guess i should start coding i should start uh, you know going into going in for core jobs but just understand one thing that you are going to be in this job for the next 40 year or 250 years of your life and if you're not interested in that uh, the job that you're doing you won't be able to survive all you you would be you know happy for uh, four to five years or so the, you would be earning great but after that once your uh, learning curve stops you would be like you know i'm stuck here and then it's hard you know to change the stream it's better to start early and just maintain that zeal things will sort out get easy afterwards yeah very true like a career decisions are mainly a marathon game but not a sprint race and exactly. perseverance is really the key to success in this game exactly it was really amazing to meet you prakar 
thank you so much for coming to our channel and sharing so much insights we hope that it would be really beneficial to all the student community thank you thanks a lot okay thank you the pleasure is all mine thank you